Welcome to No Sag is Never Born. <laughs> on my way to Goran's place, and we're gonna head on down to the metro and check out Pee Wee's Big Adventure. When I was given the chance to go check it out in the theater, I thought, why the heck not? I got my ice cream soup to go, and time to go watch a movie. I got time to make my lunch on the go. Today, ice cream soup, Pee Wee Herman style. So first, take your biggest mixing bowl, open your ice cream. One, two, three, four, uh, maybe five scoops. Let your dog lick the spoon. Now the next step, chocolate syrup to taste. And then you stir. And just like season one, episode one of Pee Wee's Playhouse, if you have too much chocolate sauce, you can always add more ice cream. And there you go, a quick easy ice cream soup. This is no Sedge's big adventure. <laughs> so you like the outfit or what? Yeah, it's pretty cool. As soon as I saw you pull up, I'm like, hey, he's totally dressed like Pee-wee. <laughs> and I brought my lunch. For lunch, I made ice cream soup. Which is what Pee-wee made in season one, episode one. Oh my. <laughs> Pee-wee's Big Adventure marked Tim Burton's first feature film as a director. The film starred the late Paul Rubens, who also co-wrote the movie alongside Phil Hartman and Michael Varhol. The film would see two sequels and a number of other projects, including a 45-episode run of Pee-wee's Playhouse. The childlike character of Pee-wee Herman taught me that it's okay to never grow all the way up. The plot of the movie is a simple one where Pee-wee is searching for his stolen bicycle his favorite possession in the world. From Pee-wee's morning routine featuring Mr. Breakfast, all the way to the very Hollywood end, this movie is a laugh a minute and doesn't let up. It's definitely a must-see for me. I highly recommend whipping up a Mr. Breakfast and some ice cream soup and enjoying this one if you're in need of a laugh or two, or to be reminded to let your inner child out now and then.
Good morning, we stop breakfast! Can I have some Mr. T cereal? Okay! Ha <laughs> I pity the fool that don't eat my cereal! cool like seeing that one in a theater though that's hilarious yeah uh, that cracked me up you don't get a lot of movies like that anymore but, like just some of the humor in that was great <laughs> he's, he's totally into this movie right well that's the thing it's kind of like the philosophy of the channel right it's like get into the movie you're watching and have fun with it just never bored. Never. That would have been like if I would have had more time to like prepare for it and stuff. I would have had a piece of paper that said bored, and bored would have been the secret word of the day. And if anyone says bored, everybody has to scream. Hey, thanks for watching No Sag is Never Bored. If you enjoy these silly little misadventures where I just do whatever comes to my mind rather than being bored, then stay tuned for the next one. Thanks for watching, and remember, boredom is a choice. Choose not to be bored. I pity the fool that's bored. See you again.